Hi everyone. So I'd like to show you just a little glimpse in how you can start using the triggers and playing in the jazz style, especially if you're going to be improvising and playing bebop. So for this, I'm using a bass trombone that's independent F and G flat, but for a lot of this, you can actually just play it in a tenor trombone with the first, with a regular F attachment on it. So the idea I'm going to be playing is a pretty common bebop idea using just the major scale starting on the fifth and I'm gonna start in the key of B flat, so it starts on F. And here's the idea. One, two, uh -uh. Mm -hmm. So for that idea, I'm playing F below the staff in first position with the first trigger down and C in the staff with first position and the first trigger down as well. But one thing you're going to want to check for sure is the intonation on those two notes because their intonation can differ drastically depending on your instrument. See, for you bass trombone players, though, they use an independent valve. I like to play F and C both in second position with the second valve down. And the reason why I do that is because in a lot of situations, you're going to be required to um, adjust your pitch either up or down. And if you're playing in first position with the first trigger down, you don't have a lot of real estate that you can actually move up, but you can move down plenty, just not up. That's why I play in second position. And a lot of times it becomes a lot easier to play when you're moving from lower positions up to second instead of first. So here's that idea how I usually play it. One, two, uh-uh, mm, mm. Let's think about taking this idea down one additional half step and we're going to put it into the key of A major starting on E. And now I'm going to play low E in second position with the first trigger down because we're no, no longer in the problem of first position again. So here's the idea, but I am going to change one additional thing outside of the E. One, two, uh -uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So if you noticed on the major third in this key, which is C sharp, I was playing it with the second trigger down in first position. And the reason why I'm doing that is because it makes a lot less slide movement happen when you're doing that. Watch, if I play C sharp using the primary position, which is fifth, and I'm trying to play faster, this is what happens. It's a lot of slide motion. Now, when you play it in first with the second trigger down, you suddenly you're just going three, two, one, two, three. And even when you're just playing it in eighth notes. It's a lot easier all of a sudden to be able to move those positions. Now, let's think about taking it down one more half step into the key of A flat, starting on E flat. And I'm going to change one other different thing about this key. So here's the idea. One, two, one, one, two, three. Notice how I play B flat and flat at third position instead of in first. The reason why I did that is because it makes it a lot easier to go between fourth and flat at third instead of going between fourth and first from that G. So, and like the last one, I played the major third using the second trigger, but in this case, it's a C natural, so I have to play it in a flatted second position. And one more thing I want to do is jazz is all about rhythm, so I think that we should take these ideas and add a little bit of rhythm to them. I'm going to take this and turn it into a cool little triplet rhythm. One, two, uh-uh, mm, mm, mm. See how those alternate positions pay off when you start adding a lot of rhythm to it. I'm going to be posting more and more of these videos as time goes on, especially when it comes to playing bebop and jazz on bass trombone and using the triggers and playing in the low register. So. Um, if you liked what you saw, please just leave a like and maybe a comment and stay tuned for more. Thank you so much.